running stop signs, riding on the sidewalk. For exactly two hours from noon to 2 p.m., I walked around the Wiggle in San Francisco watching bikers. Oh, it drives me nuts. Every day I'm trying to get around the city and, you know, I got to watch out and make sure I don't hit one of them. You know, they got to obey the street laws like everybody else. This man is riding with no hands, which I'm not sure is illegal, but riding a stop sign with no hands, well, that is. In fact, in the two hours I was there, I literally saw only four riders actually stop out of several dozen. I came back to the area known as the Wiggle to see what it was like after the media hype died down. I checked Steiner and Waller, DeBose, and Hay Street. And it was all the same. Wiggle riders treating stop signs like they don't exist. The last time I did a segment on bike riders disregarding the laws that have been on the books for decades, I was flooded with emails. Many praising the fact that I had the courage to tackle this problem. And I couldn't understand why they said courage. Then the other emails poured in. I was called every name in the book and some names that were not even in the books. I mean, the bicycles, you have to watch out for the bicycles because they're like cars. They may run you over. I actually tried to talk to some bicyclists on camera and they declined. But one told me bike riders need to stop. And they do because it's the law. When they bought their bikes, they all got an owner's manual. And guess what? In the owner's manual, it instructs riders to follow the rules of the road. Many riders choose not to, plain and simple. If you want to read some of the emails I get from angry bike riders, hit me up on my Facebook page at Cron4 Stanley Roberts. I'll let you read some. In San Francisco, Stanley Roberts, Cron4 News.